Once upon a time, in a far away kingdom, there lived a kind and beautiful girl named Cinderella. She lived with her wicked stepmother and two stepsisters, who were very unkind to her. They made her do all the chores, like sweeping the floor, scrubbing the dishes, and mending their dresses, while they lounged around all the day. Despite her hard life, Cinderella always remained kind, gentle, and full of hope. One day, an announcement came from the palace. The king was holding a grand ball, and all the young ladies in the kingdom were invited. The prince was looking for a bride, and everyone hoped to catch his eye. Cinderella's stepsisters were thrilled and spent days preparing their dresses and hair. But when Cinderella asked if she could go to, her stepmother laughed cruelly and said, "You go to the ball? You are not fit to be seen." Then she tore up the dress Cinderella had made from scraps. Heartbroken, Cinderella ran to the garden and cried. Suddenly, there was a twinkling light, and a sweet voice called, "Don't worry, my dear." When Cinderella looked up. She saw a kind woman holding a wand. It was her fairy godmother. "Why are you crying, dear?" the fairy godmother asked. Cinderella wiped her tears and explained her troubles. "I wanted to go to the ball, but I have no dress, no way to get there, and no hope." The fairy godmother smiled warmly and said, "Leave that to me." With a wave of her wand, she turned a pumpkin into a sparkling golden carriage. Then she turned six little mice into horses, a rat into a coachman, and a lizard into a footman. Lastly, with one final flick, she transformed Cinderella's ragged dress into the most beautiful gown, glittering with jewels, and gave her glass slippers. that shimmered like stars but remember the fairy godmother warned the magic will only last until midnight you must leave the ball before the clock strikes 12 cinderella thanked her fairy godmother and hurried off to the ball when she arrived at the palace everyone including her stepmother and stepsisters stared in awe at the mysterious beauty who had just entered even the prince was enchanted by her and asked her to dance cinderella felt like she was in a dream as she danced with the prince forgetting all her troubles time flew by and before cinderella knew it the clock began to strike midnight she remembered the fairy godmother's warning and ran out of the palace as fast as she could In her haste, one of her glass slippers slipped off, but she didn't stop to retrieve it. She hopped into her carriage just as the clock struck 12, and the magic wore off. The beautiful gown turned back into rags, and the carriage and horses disappeared. The next day, the prince declared that he would marry the girl whose foot fit the glass slipper left behind. He and his men traveled from house to house trying the slipper on every young woman in the kingdom. When they arrived at Cinderella's home, the step sisters eagerly tried to squeeze their feet into the slipper, but it did not fit. Then Cinderella asked if she might try. Her stepmother scoffed, but the prince's men allowed her. To everyone's surprise, the slipper fit perfectly. The prince was overjoyed when he found his mysterious dancer and took her back to the palace. Soon after, Cinderella and the prince were married in a grand celebration, and they lived happily ever after. And as for the stepmother and stepsisters, well, they learned that kindness and love always win the end. Thank you for watching. Love is in the care.